Cuanto? This would probably help if I had Wi-Fi. Oh my God. Wait, I'm in the wrong place right now. Get me out of here. We live in a very observable world and we are observant creatures. There is no point. It's a path. Come adventure through me, with me, today in the beautiful country of Peru. Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Rose and welcome to Cusco, Peru. My first and very initial reactions of Cusco is that it's very, very high altitude. It's like 11,000 feet and I can barely breathe. <laughs> Last night I felt really sick, like altitude sickness. Altitude here. I'm so out of breath so easily. So today I'm still feeling a bit sick. There is a remedy, it's a tea called, it's made from coca leaves. I think that's uh, the plant, <laughs> but apparently you can take that for altitude sickness. So I'll show you how to make that. And then we're gonna go to the market in Cusco and I need to try and find some nice Inca warm wear clothes because I didn't realize this either, but Cusco is actually pretty cold. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know anything about this city, to be honest, uh, but we'll explore it together. This is what it's made out of, isn't it? You put in like four leaves. And apparently this is good for fatigue, relieving hunger, and altitude sickness. They also come in these little packs right here. So you let it steep for four minutes, and it just tastes like a normal tea. Cheers. Um, tea. <laughs> it's adorable. Hi, look at his face. <laughs> oh, look at his face. So there are so many markets and little tiny stores around here. The streets are amazing. Lots of dogs too. The cars also drive down them, so it's kind of scary. Cusco used to be the capital of Peru, and now Lima is. So the population's around 400,000, much less than Lima. When you come back, tell more people, come here. To Cusco? Yes. Yeah. This cathedral was built in a uh, finished building in 1654. This is the center up here. Better than Lima. I just got a camera out and everything. Yeah, it's my job. How's oh, your job? What are you doing? What is your job? YouTube. YouTube. It's also her job too. She's a cinematographer. Oh, let me yeah. follow your channel then. No, you don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to? Nah. Right, I mean, you can if you want, but. What? what? Why not? Go ahead. I mean, if you right, want I'll to. I'll follow it. So, yeah, what are y'all shooting today? We're just going around uh, Cusco. We're going to look at the market. I'm going to watch the game. I didn't know there was one. Yeah, it's like a big World Cup qualifier, so it's gonna oh. be like a big party at like 6.30 for the locals. It's good to see y'all. See ya. So we're, going, we're trying to find the San Pedro market or the Central Market, which is, I think, one of the oldest markets here in Central Square. It has souvenirs, food, clothes, kind of everything. I think it's pretty big. But we are here in the San Pedro market. Um, we're going to look for some food and clothing, I think. That's the goal for today. Also, my sister gave me a very specific request. She wants me to f find her some alpaca fur. Um, she likes to spin wool, so 
see if we can find some of that as well. There's so much food. It's very big in here. So I feel like the best way to do this is to find kind of the more isolated in the back type of stalls because those ones are probably a bit cheaper. And I'm going to try my hand at haggling. I am not the greatest. I don't know the currency very well. So <laughs> that might be a problem, but um, we'll see. Uh, it, all else fails, they'll laugh at me. Hello, YouTube world. This is Lana. She's my cinematographer here with me in Peru. You can follow her links below. She's very good at what she does. Hi, puppy. This is very overwhelming. There's so much stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> so, and I've, I have to, you know, haggle and ask for the prices. It's very beautiful though, like all the colors. No, gracias. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Oh my god, this smells so bad. <laughs> it smells so bad right here. It's um, cow snouts. I'm, I'm horrified. Like, what are those for? What are those for? Oh my god. Wait, I'm in the wrong place right now. Get me out of here. Get me out. Get me out of here. Pardon. <gasps> oh god <laughs> that smelled so bad oh that made me feel uh, a little bit more sick <laughs> Guess it's... hola quanto Pochenta, what is that? Is it 80? Okay, on a memento. 80 is not bad, I don't think. Material? A paco? This would probably help if I had Wi Fi. Alpaca? 80%. 80. Okay, so it's different. Ah, okay. But it does have some alpaca wool in it. I'm gonna try and ask for 70. No 70? No. Okay, gracias. Because I know literally no Spanish and also my translator app isn't working because my data is gone. So it makes it much harder to try and communicate that. Okay, so she came back to me and she, she said she will accept 70. You kind of have to walk away sometimes. Ah, I see. Muchas gracias. Gracias. She's like, I'm not handing this to you until, you, until I count this money. <laughs> She's like, I don't trust you. We are happy. We we scored our first deal. Um, I just realized I'm running low on cash, so anything else we get has to be very, very cheap. Usually, whenever you're haggling with people, and I've done this before in other countries as well, and watched it being done is that you kind of have to walk away and a lot of the times they will follow you. If the price isn't absurdly low, they will come and follow you and say, okay. So never, usually with markets, they don't expect you to pay the full price that they're asking because a lot of times they do upcharge foreigners as well, especially me. I do look like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, which I don't, but. So that's a little tip for you. Oh my God, that's that girl. Well, thanks for coming. I was, just, I was just looking at your Instagram the Aww, other day. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I really like your artwork. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Chef Loke. Like, what is this? Is it some sort of sugar? These are candies made from the coca leaves. I wonder if they have the same effects as the tea. <laughs> Quanto? Hey, chocolate? Chocolate, seven soles for Seven. One. Two soles. Two soles for one. Oh no. Uh, uh, todo 18 soles. Uh, so soft. 
I wonder how much this is. I could just get get one for my sister. Hola. Quanto? <laughs> okay. Oh, try it. Toda clase de variedades. Hay bastante como para que usted consuma. Es de Quillabamba, Cusco. Bien. Y guste. Ah, dulce. Sí, es cualquiera. Usted habla el español, el inglés. No hablo español, inglés solo. Inglés, sí. A ver, pruebe. Gracias. ¿De qué país te? Coffee. Oh. Pecanas. Pecanas. How much? How much is this? Ocho soles. Ocho soles. Uh -huh. Sal de maras. What is that? Salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, salt. Salted chocolate. No, gracias. Uh -huh. También hay mango. Just uh, solo uh, uno. Uh, uno. Uno no más. Yeah. All right. Gracias. Got some chocolate. Bienvenidos a Cusco. Gracias. Gracias. She's a very nice lady. Uh, I was trying to get milk chocolate, but leche, leche, leche. I don't know how to say it properly. But we got pecan chocolate. So score. Yeah, but it looked like a hard persimmon, like big, like hard ones. Is it? She's selling orange juice. I wish, I wish that I got the excited over bubbles oh, or dirty water. <laughs> They're like poking the, the, the dirty water. So I've been here about like, what, 45 minutes, do you think? And I'm trying to get my SIM recharged, but it's not working. It's Bien? Okay, muy bien. Okay, so we finally got it working and now we're gonna switch out the sim. And people don't show this behind the scenes, but these types of little details in traveling are the most stressful. Like with sim cards, logistics, blah, blah, blah. It's boring to report, but it is half of traveling. It's a process. So I had to buy a new sim to get more data. This is my poncho. It's alpaca, made in Peru. It was about $18. Really? I don't. Man. Really? No, my Spanish is very bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just everybody was speaking here. Yeah, it's because we are living from the tourists. Yeah, I wish I spoke better English, but I mean Spanish. Just a couple. No, gracias. No, no, thank you. So some of the big things that they try to sell you here on the streets are massages, um, mushrooms. Um, and what was the other thing? Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Weed. <laughs> like weed. There's like, they, they have a book of pictures and they're like, hey, you want to magic mushrooms? Weed? <laughs> Ayahuasca? I'm like, no, no, no gracias. <laughs> These are nice big stones. So this is the 12 angled stone. It is said to once hold up an Incan palace. So there's just huge big stones right here in this walkway. Linda. Linda? <laughs> I'm in love. Is it alpaca? So cute. Uh, tell us about these, these narrow streets real quick. So these are very thin sidewalks and the cars just come up right and if you like you feel like you're gonna like fall into the car. Uh, it's very narrow. We're gonna go into this bull little restaurant right here. Hola. Hola. I'm so happy with my poncho. So it's interesting because here specifically, not Lima, but they sell coca tea, I think, at most restaurants. It's just a thing that they sell. But the thing is, is that in the United States, it's illegal. It's not, you're not allowed to bring it into the US or anything like that. 
right, so I got this. Actually, I'm starving. Buenos dias. Um, we are in line right now. It is like five in the morning. Very, very early. I had to get up at three something again. It seems to be the, the theme for these travel adventures. You have to get up very early for things. But I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for coming along on our market experience. Um, it's very interesting. I'm very, very happy I have this poncho because it is freezing. It's very cold in the mornings here. We're now getting on a bus and then a train and then a bus to get up to Machu Picchu. And I'll show you guys what we find up there and see if it's worth it because it's a lot of work to get to. Anyways, uh, buenos dias. I will see you in the next video. Stay extraterrestrial. Love you very much. Bye.